gentlemen, welcome to the IGN Pro League. My name is Total Biscuit, bringing you all the action from the ARG versus In Control Protoss v Protoss series. We are going into game three of this best of three, and it's going to be on a map called Test Bug. This is a map named after the very famous Brood War map maker Test Bug, and it features some rather interesting terrain. It's actually a three player map, but is often used in 1v1 tournament formats. Now, in the previous game, we saw Arg sort of kind of falling apart, really, against In Control, who managed to find his stride and was vicious and completely merciless in his execution of the last generation Protoss player. We'll find out whether or not Arg can come back from this. There's still all to play for, and one of these guys is going to advance, and the other will fall out of the tournament entirely. Are you ready for the intensity? I certainly hope so. I'll be kicking it off right now. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to IC Cup Test Bug. That's the name of this particular map, and that's the arena for this particular encounter. I bring you Arg from Team Last Generation. He's in the red trunks. He's playing Protoss up to the east of the map and up to the north. We've got in control of the one and only evil geniuses. He is in the blue trunks, also playing Protoss. Test Bug, an intriguing map, folks. A triangular design to this particular arena, and... It, I'm not going to say it's designed for three players because let's be honest, three player StarCraft 2 is not really high up on the agenda of what people believe competitive play should be all about. Some of you might be a little bit disappointed by that, but trust me, getting the balance correct in 1v1 is difficult enough, let alone 1v1v1 or of course the 2v2 and 3v3 and undoubtedly 4v4 formats. It's a little bit crazy, ladies and gentlemen. You might have heard that Brood War was one of the most balanced strategy games of all time, and you would, of course, be absolutely correct in that assumption. But bear in mind, that took absolutely years of not only balanced patches, but shifts in perception and the metagame. So that people were viewing the game and the build orders and the way that it was played in an entirely different light. Now, StarCraft 2 has not got to that point yet. There are still some debates over balance. I'm not going to enter them right now. If you want to engage in that kind of discussion, the forums will no doubt be a great place to do it. And these tournaments always bring up all sorts of great arguments. Okay. Arg. Why? Why must you zap it right there? In control looks for the surround. <laughs> uh, funny, actually, pulling that many probes off of the mineral line, even for a short period of time, just to try and get rid of that probe is a little bit ridiculous. But there you go. Oh, Pylon coming right down right here for in control. His opponent has done exactly the same thing. And as we said before, the opening, the first few minutes of a Protoss versus Protoss matchup tends to be pretty much identical. There are things you can do, certainly. There are options. However, it doesn't look like either of these players is going to go down that route right now. Cybernet's going to right down here for Arg. And already one up for in control, about five seconds ahead of him. Now, one of these days, I'm going to see a pylon actually killed by this harassment. It's very unlikely that would actually happen. But you see right there, wearing it down, wearing away at those shields. And eventually, it will go down. However, a zealot is on its way to deal with the pesky probe. And in control will no doubt be safe from its horrible molestation right here. Probe's actually t t doing damage right here. It's made its way through the shield. The little probe that could right now. It will need to leave immediately if it wants to escape the wrath of that zealot. That's exactly what's going to be happening. But yes, somehow I don't think that amount of damage is going to make too much of a difference in this particular game. In the meantime, InControl's been doing the same thing. Zella out for Arg, driving him away once again. Chrono Boost on the Warp Gate and Chrono Boost on the Warp Gate. And in this case, on a Stalker as well. InControl wants one out nice and quickly. Doesn't want that probe anywhere near his base for the time being. We have a look at the way that this map is designed. You've got your natural expansion down the bottom right there, although you have this very large open area, so you've got no ramp into that. And you've also got a Zelnaga Watchtower in the middle of a pile of rocks, which you have to actually work your way through in order to gain access to, which is an intriguing idea. Arg just sort of hanging around, seeing what he can see right now, and he's got two gateways on the way. His opponent, there we go, also into two gateways as well, a little bit behind, no big deal. And harvest account for both, absolutely identical. Economy is absolutely identical. Arg putting down a proxy pylon, however, it's already been spotted very, very rapidly indeed by In Control. And there's the meeting of the minds right here, which In Control will no doubt win. Arg needs to leave immediately, unless he's going to lose that Zelda, tries to take it out, and it looks like he'll be able to snipe it off, but I'd be very concerned about that stalker. Doesn't lose it, but there you go. One zealot apiece and a pylon down for Arg. Not a big deal one way or the other. However, that puts in control very slightly ahead at this stage in the game. And every little helps, folks. Every little helps. 
and in control with a, another gateway going down. And we're seeing this from in control an awful lot. He likes to build four gateways, but he doesn't go in for the infamous four gateway push, which definitely happens around sort of the six and a half to seven and a half minute mark. You'll find that the four gating Protoss will go in there, try and get a pylon down, and will then try and push into his opponent's base. And it's not particularly sustainable, but it can end the game very quickly. Arg with five Storks on the field. He does have a slight unit count advantage against In Control. However, In Control has a Sentry, and that will no doubt come into play. However, will we see In Control do... No, it looks like he's not going to do that at all. He's four gateway into a robotics facility. In Control just likes to build four gateways. He likes to have the option there, and I don't really blame him, honestly. You don't have to necessarily use those four gateways, but it's nice to have the option, because in a pinch, you can warp out one extra unit, which can really make the difference in the early stages of the game. We've got a Twilight Council coming out right here for Arg as well. He's been executing this build every single time. And every time in control has come up with something a little bit different. Four gateway into Stargate, for instance. Now, four gateway into Robotics Facility. So, that is intriguing. Looking forward to seeing what actually comes out of that. And in the last game, we saw in control go four gateway into a Twilight Council. Where he went for Blink Stalkers. But he's not doing that. Likes to keep people guessing, does in control. And I like that. You know, I like a player that will do that. And in control actually finally breaking out those Colossi. In a PvP, we've seen no Colossi up until this point. We're now finally seeing the Robotics Bay coming down that end tier unit for the Protoss. And the question is, will Arg be able to handle it? There is still everything to play for in this particular encounter. And still, economies are equal. No sign at all of an expansion from either player. And perhaps just waiting to see what the other does. In control with a nice sneaky pile on down the bottom bottom right there give him a little bit of access to that base it's not direct but it's certainly close enough and of course it allows him to keep an eye on the gold minerals right there as well and it gives him reasonable access to that natural expansion Right now, Arg rolling out, however, in control is ready for him, and Immortal on the way for him. Very smart play, considering his opponent is heavy on the armored stalkers. An Immortal will be able to chew through those, however, his push is going to get nasty, and in control is going to be hard pressed to deal with it. Pylon coming down for him. Arg with 13 stalkers on the field, versus in control 6, and 3 zealots, and 2 sentry. However, he can play nice and patient right now. He's not too worried. He just needs to get those immortals out on the field. And then he'll be in a good position. And there we go. A nice little bit of force field work there by In Control. Rains it down on the Zealot. Loses the Zealot of his own in the process. Not a big deal, however. And Arg driven away and the immortal now on the field. So Arg is going to need a large, large group in order to deal with that. Zealot's warping in for In Control. What is his force field count looking like? It's not looking too great. He'll be able to place down one, certainly. Depends how good this division is. But bear in mind that Blink is available. A very quick there away from Arg and once again that reaction time that we saw from him that was flagging a little bit in game two seems to be coming back to him in a very strong position right now he holds map control I would not be surprised at all at some point to see him expand behind that he does have a forge coming up he doesn't really have the money for it right now as in the meantime you'll notice that in control managed to warp in a few zealots and he is meeting Arg in his mineral line the question is how much damage was done not a huge amount however he's able to take out three probes looking for four here as well not too bad at all Arg is able to drive him away there and once again in control in the middle line again although fighting with Arg zealots and nothing to really worry about there. In the meantime, in control is able to push his opponent all the way back. Oh, yes. That was some interesting play there by both, and obviously a little bit tricky to track both of it, but we could certainly look at the results of it. Two fights going on on either side. In control able to push back right there using mortals, and Arg was not able to hold the line in that particular situation. I don't really blame him, honestly. Colossus on the way for in control as well now, finally. And economic damage was done to Arg. He is slightly behind. Nothing he really needs to worry about too much, although every little disadvantage will certainly hurt him in this particular game, especially if we've got Colossi coming out on the field. And the question is, did Arg manage to scout anything of the sort? He did not. He is unaware of the presence of that robotics bay. No extended thermal lance upgrade coming up as of yet for in control, simply because he doesn't have the gas he needs for it. Although, I wouldn't be surprised to see him expand in the not in future. He does have the money that he needs for it. There we go. Straight down with the Nexus. And Arg moving out once again, taking control of these Zelnaga watchdowns, keeping an eye on his opponent and looking for a push once again. However, I don't really think he's got the numbers he needs to do huge damage. In control should be able to hold it. He'll have a second Colossus on the field. He's already got the Immortals up there as well. So I won't be too concerned. However, if Arg is quick enough he might be able to snipe off this force of cancel there we go an immediate cancel by in control in control not happy with that at all doesn't want to try and hold it and while of course i don't have the range 
They can still inflict a lot of damage. That's a free pylon right there for Ark. The question is, will he attempt to push up that ramp? Not right now, certainly. Not right now. Takes a probe for free as well. And once again, Ark with this very bizarre style of expanding at the other side of the map. Uh, this is the second time he's done it right now, and it's potentially vulnerable. However, bearing in mind that In Control has been placing proxy forces and has been warping in from pylons around his base, I don't really blame Ark's paranoia right now. Once again, Ark pushing forward, a potent force available for him right here. Doesn't really have the upgrades that he needs to do massive damage. However, in control, is sitting on a very Spartan force right here. Relying mostly on Colossi, which is not massively effective. But look at this. And Arg has not actually seen this at all. In control, ready for a push. If Arg goes for another push, then you can t I can tell you for a fact that in control will try and do yet more harassment. A very smart maneuver. Now. Ark still has not spotted that. He is unaware of the presence of that proxy pylon. In control, a very sneaky play right now. Very deceptive. Ark's not pushing, however. There we go. It looks like In Control's going to force the fight. And Ark forced all the way back. In the meantime, In Control not really bothering to do anything with his zealots right now. Just hanging around, keeping them there. And In Control with yet another set of warp ins right here. He spots that Nexus, and Arg is going to lose that Nexus. There's nothing you can really do about that. And his forces are just too far out of position. Rips those probes apart once again. We're seeing Arg in a bad position in terms of his economy. In control looking pretty good right now. Once again, look at this. Look at that tiny little group of zealots that will be able to inflict huge damage here. Can they carve their way? through it. They can with five, certainly. Going up against a Photon Cannon, he's aware of its presence. He should be able to deal with it without a problem. Arg moving in right here. We'll be able to deal with the Zealous before he loses the Nexus. It is looking very low indeed. 300 HP. And there we go. That's the quick blink. And he should be able to take it out. 150. Oh, there he goes. Nicely done there by In Control. Annihilating that Nexus in the meantime. In Control into the line once again. However, he's not able to do a huge amount of damage with that force. Nicely defended a warp in there by Arg. However, the economy of Arg did suffer from that. No question about that at all. In control, rebuilding that Nexus is almost complete, and there's no way that Ark can really push his way in there. He doesn't have the firepower. Three Colossi, two Immortals in the mix for In Control. You don't want to be anywhere near that kind of nonsense. No way. In Control's proxy pylon finally spotted right there, and it's been great proxy pylon play from him this entire game. Getting very aggressive, his harassment very innovative, and very sneaky as well. Very deceptive. Once again, Ark runs into a wall of pain. Nothing will happen. You cannot do it. You do not have the firepower that you need in order to attack that force. There are four Colossus in the mix right there, as well as two Immortals. It just is not going to happen. Arg needs something a little bit different in order to get out of this one. He's going to have to vary things up, and right now he's on the back foot. Once again. The economy of In Control now in a great position. That Nexus up, Chrono boosting out as many probes as he can. Forge on the way. And in the meantime, Arg with a robotic spade coming up as well. However, his economy is not really in a great state of support. And once again, are we going to see it again? In Control is a sneaky individual. You might call him the Bear Protoss, folks. But I'll tell you, this bear is one stealth bear. Mm, radar reflective technology on in control's hide. That is what is allowing him to do crazy things like this. And Arg once again unaware of that. And in control will lie in wait. Once he gets the opportunity, he will go in there, do big damage once again to the economy. And Dark Templar on the way. Dark Templar will make that a whole lot easier. Proxy pylons with Dark Templar warp ins incredibly lethal. Once again, another pylon down there. In control with probes all over the map. And Arg is just being caught completely off guard all the time. In Control's economy, now in a dominant position. Arg really not able to do anything. Constantly restricted in terms of what he can do. Constantly paranoid about things like that. There you go, another Zealot warping. And Arg could potentially lose this here. It seems unlikely though, considering that Stalkers are not with the blink. Certainly not. They will be there in time. The shields might go down, but that really will be about it. And In Control doesn't really care. He's not concerned about that. And Arg is going to wonder where that proxy pylon was this time. Where did he sneak it in there? There we go. Dark Templar Shrine is almost complete. And Arg will have a look around and seeing what he can see. Can he find the proxy pylon? He should be able to. It's up to the top right there. There we go. He finds it eventually. Wow, this is great play here by In Control. Very, very impressive work. The master of deception, it would appear. Now, here's the thing. Arg is actually sitting on a very good stalk account right now. But here we go. Dark Templar warping somewhere. There you go. Scouting force all over the place. A vanguard of what's to come. Harbingers. 
what they are. The primary force of in control now pushing forward. However, there is this secondary force of invisible Dark Templar moving across the field. And in control also has a firepower advantage here, which is not going to be helpful at all. Because look at this. That is one nasty looking expansion. One tasty looking expansion as well. In control will bide his time. He will lie in wait. In the meantime, he'll push Ark's forces all the way back, doing so very successfully. And here we go. Finally into the mineral line right here. Mega damage coming in, taking a probe with every single swing. That's not going to be good for Ark at all. Look at the harvester cap. The harvester cap is plummeting like a rock right here. 15 harvesters, 13. Unbelievable stuff right here from In Control, who, as far as I'm concerned, just put Arg's economy in concrete shoes and pushed him into a river. In Control's army looking potent right here. The supply count is in his favor. The upgrade count is in his favor. His money count is in his favor. His size and muscular frame is in his favor. And the question is, will Arg be able to hold it? Not a chance. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. In control, with complete control of that particular match, living up to his name. Excellent play there by him. Repeated proxy pile on harassment. Arg caught completely out almost all the time. He was able to do nothing. And eventually, in control, slides in there for the smooth finish. My name is Total Biscuit. And there you go. In control advances in the loser's bracket right here. Arg is out of the tournament. I've been watching the IGN Pro League series. Hopefully you've enjoyed that. I certainly did. And I'll see you next time.